Hi, welcome to NeuroCal Institute. Dr. Hassan Tawheed here, and today we're going to talk about self-discovery. It is a very challenging topic and has been discussed by several authors and several philosophers, and yeah, you have read this uh, topic in several books and several lectures are there on YouTube and other mediums. And uh, if you ask anybody, people feel really bored about it. A lot of people do not understand what they're talking about, but trust me, this lecture is going to be very interesting because you talk about self-discovery in my own way and you will really enjoy studying this. So let's talk about how do we discover ourselves? What is self-discovery? Self-discovery actually means how we discover ourselves. This is we're going to talk about in this course and this is a course comprised of four modules and the first module will talk about some introduction about self-discovery. So self-discovery is, is the discovery of your life, yourself, how do you discover yourself, what is the purpose of your life, how why you were created this is self-discovery so how do you discover yourself in the first module we will talk about three main factors which will help you discover your purpose or yourself number one love i'll come to that number two excitement number three 24 hours non-stop and energy these are the three things we'll talk about in the first module of the topic self-discovery so let's talk about it how do we discover ourselves that's the very challenging question to discover ourselves we need to find that one particular thing that we love to do more than anything else that's very challenging for all of us sometimes our whole life is spent and we never come to a conclusion that what we love the most but if we sit and analyze and think about it then we can find the answer to this question trust me this answer about the purpose of our creation or self-discovery cannot be given by the nature to, an, to a non-serious person you have to be very serious about it the first thing is you, you sit in a quiet environment and think about it what you love to do the most some people love to write some people love to speak some people love to sing some people love to swim, some people love to run, some people love to exercise, some people love to act, some people love to draw paintings and drawings. So there are different people, they love different things. Why is that so? The reason is that different people have been created by this nature to do different things and different tasks. So you gotta discover, you gotta find the thing which you love the most. I will come to that in the next module. This is just an introductory module and we are talking about just the basics of this. So now you understand the first point is love. You got to love to do something and if you can find something which you love to do, that's the first step towards your self-discovery. If you already know that, then congratulations. If you don't, then this lecture is going to help you a lot, trust me. Now the second point, excitement. Is there anything which excites you a lot? Gives you, I mean it fills you with so much of happiness and excitement you're always enthusiastic and happy to do that thing like some for example some people love to play baseball some people love to play football some people love to play basketball or some people love to perform on a stage and act in plays some people love to paint and draw I personally know people who are crazy about uh, drawing and they just feel enthusiastic and happy about think just about thinking about uh, that they will be drawing something that's what I'm talking about this kind of excitement that's the second thing excitement this thing will make you excited this particular task will make you excited will fill you with enthusiasm and excitement that's how you know that you are on the right journey toward your self-discovery we will come to the explanation in the module 
following this introductory video and the third thing which is a very important thing which is another hint how you discover yourself or your passion or your purpose is the thing which you love to do and which excites you the most should be the thing which keeps you alive for 24 hours non-stop have you found such a thing there are people who can do some things which they love to do non-stop 24 hours I know people let me tell you an example I know people who say they love, they love something but if you ask them can you do that 24 hours a day they won't be able to do that why is that so because that's not their purpose of life this, this is a thing which you can do non-stop and you totally forget about the world you are so much into it you are doing it non-stop 24 hours and your time of sleep is going away and you don't care about it because you are so much into it that you regret oh the time is gone I have to sleep okay I'll sleep but I'll wake up in the morning I'll do this thing again that's what I'm talking about trust me these things exist I myself a living example of it I love this thing I love this teaching that's what I do I just crazy about it I can do this 24 hours non-stop you can see me I can stand here and make 24 hours of these lectures and I will not be bored and I will not let you go this is the quality of the person who has discovered himself discovered his passion that he is energetic he is excited he loves the thing most and he is awake 24 hours when it comes to that particular task doesn't let him sleep because he feels he's enjoying he's playing the world thing is he's working although he's not working that's how we discover ourselves this is the first step these are the three first main steps of how you know you are discovering yourself if you can find such a thing then you're on the right journey trust me and we will continue in the next lecture with the whole course and stay with us thank you